What's going on, people? I'm about to go back inside in a second. I want to just say, everybody, let's stop hating on everybody. Let's stop hating on people. If you see somebody doing better than you, and that's a lot of people doing better than me, be motivated. Don't be a hater. Don't hate. Motivate. That, that was corny. But my point is, yeah, don't be hated. Don't try to be somebody that likes to hate. Stay well and motivate. Okay, that was more corny. My point is, man, it's a lot of hate in this world. And, and hate comes from being insecure about yourself and you're not happy with with other with this things going on in your own life like me i don't have a reason to hate on anybody at all because i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy about everything i'm happy i have two legs two arms I'm happy i can read I'm happy my brain works fine I'm happy i'm not brain dead you know I'm happy i have money i have a job i'm, I'm just i can't i can't um I can't be around bad energy, man. Because hating, hating is a learned trait passed down from generation to generation. Because nine times out of ten, if you're a hater, your your dad or your mom was a hater. And their dad and 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 mom was a hater. You know, it's, just five, six generations of hate. And you just you look at the at the, the many cycles of it, man. Like the grandfather's father, father that was a hater, he probably was sitting in a rocking chair with the glass eye, you know, drinking lemonade, sitting on the porch in a rocking chair as his slaves worked in the field. And he was probably telling himself, man, how come I don't I don't have a plantation that can make me rich? I just got I don't, how come I don't have enough niggers on the field? And, you know, because it, it, it was probably hater. It was probably slave owners that hated on other slave owners. And then his his uh, his kids, he, he put that he he um disseminated that hate on on his kids, you know. His kid, I don't know what his kid was. Well, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this, but let's just stop hating, man. Let's let's just start loving. Let's just stop, because I, I let me say this: my videos, I give advice and I critique things. I give it, I give you solutions on what could be a better alternative. Like when I talk about the black community and I talk about the black church, I'm not hating. I'm giving you advice on how not to spend your money on lies. And false hope. Because all the black church is. Is an ego booster. For women. That's all it is. And they silently pimp you. They don't do nothing for your community. That's not hating. Somebody like a pastor. That's not telling you the right origins of that bible. That's miseducating you. And not doing anything for your community. That's a hater. Somebody that wants, doesn't want you to thrive. Like. Like me, for example, if I saw another black man who couldn't read, I wouldn't I wouldn't say them to him like, man, like, fuck that. You don't got to learn how to read. Reading for rich people. You don't got to learn the white man's, you know, uh, his his history. Like, no, that's ignorant right there. You should learn every aspect of history, no matter what, if it's world history you know, uh, American history, British history, Asian history. You should learn all history to be educated. If you if you truly are not a hater, you'll want that person to be on the same level as you. Because that's how we grow as a world. We grow as a as a society. Excuse me, as a society, when we when everybody is on the same level. Now I know everybody can't be smart. Everybody can't be a billionaire. Everybody can't be a boss. But if everybody convinced, everybody encouraged the person next to them or the person near them to be on the same level as them, whether it be whatever skill it is, intellect, physical fitness, um, any aspect in life, 
if we all just taught the next person what we know, that's how we grow as a society. That's not hating. That's 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 uh that's love right there. Now, when you encourage people to not do better and stay in the same slump that they're in, that's a hater. Cause you you you're afraid they'll you got competition. Cause I noticed with haters, haters don't like competition, and they don't like to see people succeed. Like the Democratic Party, those are haters right there. The Democratic Party is a bunch of haters. The Republicans, they're haters too, but they're not haters where they want where they want to see people just stay in in their same slump for years, for decades, man. But. Let's just stop hating on people, man. If you see somebody with a Benz, you know, tell yourself, man, I'm gonna I'm get another job, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You don't really need a Benz. You don't really need a like a fancy car. But if that's what you want, if that's what you want to do to flex and show off, tell yourself, I'm gonna get another job. I may, I may uh, go back to school. I can get a career. I'm gonna work towards that that um that Benz or that Escalade or whatever. But stop looking with envy to another man when you when you see them with something nice. They have a a, a pretty woman on their on their arm or a nice car, a nice house. Tell yourself you're gonna work towards getting those things. But stop hating on other men. That's a that's a feminine that's a, that's an effeminate trait. It's not manly. It's not masculine. That's a female trait to hate on other people. But with that being said, let's all stop hating love the next person well as in i ain't, we don't got love the next person but if you but if we all just would encourage the next person next the person next to us to learn things and be like the next guy that's how we'll grow as a society that's just what i think about that